right, the continuation of the doors. A uh, couple things here. When you're looking at the drawings, you kind of have to use all the information available. We've got the instruction sheets here that talk about, you know, drilling the hinge and all that, but it doesn't really talk about rivet size or spacing, um, with the exception of pitch 40 between the gussets. Um, they're talking about right here. But if you jump over to the plan, there's one area here, right here, and it refers to the upper uh, false rib there. And right here where it says A4 pitch 40 on the upper part of the hinge and A5 pitch 40, those are the countersunk, one, uh, countersunk ones on the lower uh, hinge. So just, you know, look at your plans, look them over, make sure you've got the right rivets going in the right spot. So here you can see I've got the, uh, there it goes this way, there's the top of the door frame right here with the countersink, countersunk 5 or A5 rivets. We've got our hinge made up. I'll have to trim these pins down just a smidge here. They're a little long. Um, and then we've got our A4 holes drilled here, and these are going to be um, not countersunk, but uh, back to the rounded head tip. And we'll get that uh, clecoed and riveted on the upper fuselage frame. So that's what we're going to do next. All right, so we'll just continue drilling along the top here. We'll remove it, deburr it. Rivet it on, and that's the top of our door frame right there. All right, there it is, the top of the door hinge, all complete and installed, riveted up, and it works just fine. So, on to building the door frame next. All right, guys, and getting the frame all ready to... Uh, tape in place to start putting the corner gussets on. Uh, I wasn't real happy with the way this bottom tube was lining up. And I think that probably stemmed from when I first cut the angle on the end, rather than kind of measuring it from both sides and marking it, I cut the angle to match this and then worked off of that. And what that ended up doing is shifting my corner here a little too far back and you can see that there's like a little slice angle there don't like that um you know i could probably squeeze it out and make it work but it's just as easily easy to uh get another piece and do it again so that's what i'm going to do and i've already got one here and you can see and i'm just holding it here but i like the way this bin fits up better in the corner there both there and here and actually, you can see the difference right here, how much difference this is back from this one. So just take your time, guys. Mark it up. Uh, you know, double check both ends. Move it around a little bit. And uh, you can get it uh, the way you like it and uh, to, your, to your liking. So that's what I did. Not a big deal. Or another tube. They're about 30 bucks, And uh, we'll keep moving on. All right, just looking at this from back here, I'm already liking the way that looks better. So I'm just gonna give a little bit of a relief cut here to give our gap. And we'll start clamping on the gussets and getting this baby drilled up. I'm gonna show you guys a little tool here that's pretty handy. You'll notice that when they punch these out or laser cut them out, they leave a little ridge on there. And some people like to file these down. It takes a little bit of time. But if you get this little tool right here, I'll put a link down in the description. You basically just run it along that edge and you're done. Hard edge is gone, nice beveled edge, takes off that sharp edge. Just like that. You can run it by a couple times if you need to. So you get the smoothness you like. Now know there's no hard edge. And the only place you gotta touch up is like these small corners where it's hard to get a, around the corner there. Makes your job a little easier, a little quicker. So here I'm just uh, back drilling those angled gussets and uh, drilling out each of the tube and putting a Clico in each one. 
And as it tightens up, uh, I just remove the clamp and then uh, she's all together with Clecos. Well, hey guys, it was a long day, lots of drilling, lots of fitting. Uh, but we now have a working door. Look at that. So everything seems to be working pretty well. A little trimming up here in the front. Uh, time to take it off, flip it over, and do the opposite side gussets. So if you guys like what you're seeing, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share the video with other builders if you like. And uh, we'll continue working on the Super Duty here. I'm gonna finish the inside of this door and then we'll start working on the other door. So Adam Andrews, Arrowworks Productions, we'll see you in the next video.